All right, all right, guys, we are back again. Another Man United stream today. We got another one today. Let's get going. So we we got a, we got a big one to start with. We got Liverpool. We got Liverpool today. Big match. We could depending depending how much we win this by, we could take their position. So this match so huge. So huge. Let's work on our match tactics, defensive shape. Yeah, work on the defensive shape in the build up uh, to this one, guys. So yeah, make sure you get in get in the stream, get in the stream for this one. It's going to be really big. It's going to be really big this and and crucial, really, and it could set up the rest of our season in a way if we get ahead of Liverpool, it will still be close, but Liverpool need to be beaten. <laughs> Liverpool really do need to be beaten, hey? Other teams are really not stepping up to the plate to get the job done against them. So we need to. We need to. Alright. How, how much days until this? Only three days. So it's not a huge break. Let's just go... Let's go continue. Let's keep in mind, Sheffield Wednesday. Where's Sheffield Wednesday sitting? They're in League One. I reckon we're going to take a bit of a look. Well, who's a... I always love seeing the hot prospects. Even some guys in the lower leagues. You never know. But nah, he's probably not good enough. A quick look at his value. You never know at their overall potential. But anyway, anyway, in preparation, in preparation, let's see any of our high potential players... Jude Ballingham, you reckon he can get it? He's come back from his injury. Ooh, I don't know if he'll be fit enough. Uh, well, you could say he could You See, right now, it says he and Hannibal, they're saying, he's actually looking nice. I reckon for sure we're going to promote him. Move to the senior squad. Uh, Saputra, hi, mate, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. How about yourself? How you all doing? Uh, Ras, uh, Danish, hi, what's going on? Uh, Josh Cooper, Hey, brother, um, hope you enjoy time with the family. Yeah, doing pretty well. I'm um, doing pretty well. My mum is over. She, she's living in a different state now. She moved last year. So, yeah, she's come over uh, for about a week or so. I spent lunch with her and my dad yesterday. Uh, yes, they're actually separated, but still friendly, which is nice. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, it's, it's nice uh, going out today as well. So, once more... Once more, I'm probably going to stream for, or probably under a couple hours. It's not going to be too long, because uh, I had to even go out pretty early. It's, it's just past 7am in the morning, so I wanted to get out a pretty early stream. Uh, I'm liking streaming every single day, uh, <laughs> so yeah, to keep that up. Uh, Adelix, how are you going? What's up? Uh, anyone else? Anyone else? Uh... Gomez or Chong? Are they? I feel like Gomez before had higher potential and it dropped a little bit, but I feel like we want to bring him back in because I was compare always comparing him to Chong and I felt like Chong had a little bit less in his potential. But I think that now they're looking the same. But a big one, uh, a disappointing one is Brandon Williams, guys. FM, FM hadn't they didn't treat him well. They oh look at that poor potential they gave him. Barely anything. It's even though it still says he has got potential to be a Premier League left back in the future. By the looks of that, I'm not too convinced. <laughs> I'm not too convinced he will. I'm not too convinced he will. So yeah, that's gonna be interesting. That's gonna be interesting. So let's go to under 18 squad. One guy we are going to promote for that. Uh, Chris Roberts. Pfft, look at his development, guys. How good is he gonna be? This guy's gonna be absolutely amazing. So, we move him to the senior squad, you know, with the pending... we got a pending game. Uh, pending game against that Sheff Sheffield. So, yeah, Karo Cup. I was just wondering how many players we should promote uh, for that. Uh, what's up? I really like your FIFA Arsenal career mode. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. My FIFA stuff, you know, I, I, really, I, I do, like, really enjoy Football Manager, like what we're playing here. But FIFA, you know, I like maybe my FIFA videos too. Have a good variety on the channel, I like to think. So, yeah, I don't think I'm going to go too heavy with those changes. we got a pretty in-depth actual first team. 
So, yeah, we'll make some rotations of players that's not playing too much for that game, I reckon. Yeah, that's, that's how we'll go about it. Just so we prepare for that game after Liverpool. So, yeah, added a few, just a few extra names. A few of the younger guys in the team. How many options have we got? Uh, Liverpool, Northwest Derby, first v second. Like this is as <laughs> Solskjaer. He recalls the Northwest spirit. How about that, Solskjaer? What are you doing now, mate? Are you gonna get a job somewhere else? Uh, gonna start a Juventus save now. Ooh, that's cool. Uh, what's your plans or what's your thought process of starting it? What do you hope to achieve? Because I think we always have that when we start a new save. There's a goal you want. You're not just random. You don't just randomly pick a team. Or who knows? Maybe you do. <laughs> you but yeah, generally for it to be a long-term save or one you're interested in, you have a goal. You have what you something you want to achieve. But again, last time out, look at this. Liverpool they struggled to beat Sheffield United. They did. They got a penalty as well. <laughs> Liverpool. <laughs> Liverpool. Oh, boy. Weak uh, Klopp. Hire Roy Keane like they should have done in real life. Where I remember seeing him somewhere in the save. Where is he at? He's an assistant at Bristol City. I, I like his level of discipline and determination. Mentals a little bit, but I feel that's about it. Uh, yeah, not, at least not as an assistant manager. Maybe as a coach, because you can get lots of coaches. So, you know. What's that? Going to start, uh... I think that's... <laughs> you wrote Dutch... Dutch with Hamlet. Is it... You pronounce it like Dulwich Hamlet? I think you even spelled it wrong. <laughs> uh, but, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, always those lower league saves. Uh, what's that? Everyone is old on a rebuild, but keep dominating. That's with Juventus, yeah. I actually really like how we spend our money this season. If you look where it's at our pending transfers, 1.27 mil left and 87k in the wage budget. I think we spent really well. Uh, we spent what we had. And that was it. Uh, what's that? Yeah, the in the Vanama National, your first road to glory. Yeah, it's good to get into. Good saves. Good saves to play. Watford. I have, like Watford's team. I like Tim Yedvai. Always liked him in FM. I thought he's a is a good young player. And I uh, before he like he I felt he's always a good value. He, he's always he was never super expensive. I remember w back in like FM eleven, FM twelve. I think yeah, he probably would have been as well. Still at Dynamo Zagreb, he was really cheap, and I think he still had he had some form of potential in him. Remember his name for quite a while now. Uh, so yeah, Mejbri is still, still developing, still training. Do we have a bogey team? Not really a specifically a bogey team, but sometimes you just come a, come up against a lower team in the Premier League, and you, yeah, <laughs> that happens in a season. It's more so having that in a season. Maybe if you want to try and go unbeaten or so, you always you lose a game against a team that's it just seems so weird. So not a specific bogey team. But just, you know, just in general, <laughs> a lower team. Or even a newly promoted Premier League team. Uh, we're just in Season 2 here. We're just in Season 2. So the year we are in 2020. That makes sense. Yeah. Ooh. Emiran. He's got... See, his potential looks alright. It's not the highest, but... It's at a level where, is he a guy in real life that has got decent potential? Because he's probably going to become a still Premier League quality. So, really intriguing. What do you think about this lad? Emiram. Where did he come? Somewhere in France, I guess? Yeah, because he is French. Will be very interesting for this save how good he becomes. He's good on both feet. I'll tell you what, we'll keep our tabs on him. Do we loan him out? Or keep training with good facilities. That's always been a thing. And, yeah, you, you can't see his stats. Oh, he didn't play in league games, obviously. 
But guys, what we want to point out last season again here it says eight goals. You might not. You, uh, yeah, you sh yeah, you can see that. Uh, yeah, eight goals. But now he's already scored fifteen. Look at that improvement. Guys, look at that improvement. Eight goals last season. Already 15 now. Eight assists as well. So, wow. He's developing really, really nicely. Oh, who do I think is going to win the Euros? But I'm not, I haven't not, uh, thought about it too much, actually, myself. I, to be honest, I always, like, because, like, just in, like, national team competitions, I always like Spain. I always, like, I think I like just football, like their, their style of football. Uh, the Spanish players, technically gifted, of course. Yeah, I always like Spain. Uh, promote Emerson, or... Wait, go back. <laughs> Emeran. Emeran, close. <laughs> uh, I prom promote him to the under-23s? I think so. I think that's fair enough. Because he's showing he's too strong. For the under 18s. Now, Neymar. Does Neymar come back? I mean, uh, we selected him to get game time. Maybe he needs to do it for us. Uh, or in the first team. Hmm. Maybe you drop out Luke Shaw and then have Diogo Delo on the bench. And if you're just joining Mike, obviously, Mike Smalling. <laughs> Mike Smalling. There we go. Hmm. We still have a strong team. We have to play a really strong team against Liverpool. But, hmm. It's an interesting one. Neymar. It's interesting to give Neymar game time. This is the one, a really key game. To play him for game time. Uh... Luke Shaw, see, honestly, Sergio has been magnificent, magnificent this season. We brought him in. Left back, free transfer. But let's, uh, we've got a big team. Well, I did add a few because our next cup game. But let's, let's hit, hit up into this one, guys. What do you reckon? What do you reckon for our expectations for this game, or, or what do you just? Who do you think is going to win? What's your what's your prediction exactly? Take a look at their team. Is it? It's not really too different at all. So compared to us, yeah. But Mason Greenwood leading the line. I've had a lot of faith. I've had a lot of faith in him. Really do like his work. But yeah, let me know how you think we're going to go here. Hmm. Say passionately. Just go, yeah, the media giving us a lot of credit. I go with that when I'm not sure another team talk. Or one where it's like, you want pick up where we left off last time. If there's not one like that, I just go with a passionate one in that style. So let's see. See how we go against Liverpool. Okay, they spray that out wide. Goes almost out. And Tovan almost wins it. Force him back. Good tackling, though. McTominay. Oh, how do you miss that? Guys, De Gea. Okay, he did well. Hmm. Must close Salah down. Okay, yeah, always press. Guys, Liverpool's actually looking pretty solid. We're going to go balance. We're going to go balance here. Ooh. Let's go a bit more direct. Switch up the play. Yeah, this is my, you know, my instinct. Instinct changes. And even though we get right away, we're suggested to play shorter passing. But I can tell from this game we need to be more direct. 
do you always, guys, do you, when you make your changes, what do you think about the assistant? <laughs> oh, yes, there he is. Told you guys. Sergio at left back. He's really good. Now, Greenwood. Greenwood. Oh, my God. That time, wow. Last season, in those situations, he'd play a, play a ball into the box. Instead of taking a shot. Maybe now he's getting confidence and thinks he can do it on his own. But all right. So last couple highlights here, they could be looking good for us. So those changes may have been decent. If it leads to a goal, I mean, again, it's going to look so nice. Torvar set up Pogba. No, Pogba wastes it, though. Even though we've generated chances, haven't taken them. Hmm... And look at their, their body language is so good right now, guys. They're just sitting... Yeah, they're looking really, really well. But, nil-nil, guys. Where are we going to look for the breakthrough? Hmm. I'll say I'm far from pleased. We want to get a win. But is a draw... Oh, I, I, but I want to win, you know, when the opportunity comes. Though, if it ends a draw, it's probably not the worst result against Liverpool. As much as we want to beat them, if we can avoid losing, it's a good thing. But, uh, come on, block him. Block him. Deal with it. Yeah, that just goes off the top of the bar. Alright, they bring on Henderson. Uh, Wijnaldum off. Ooh, yes, we're probably going to make a change here. They bring on Harry Wilson for Mo Salah. Mo Salah's off, but Harry Wilson's still decently rated. And here he is. Here he is on cue. Oh, strong tackle, but I hate making a tackle. Oh, two tackles. How many times can I make an interception? And it goes right back to Liverpool. They're going to get a goal here because of this reason. And that is just fucked up. That is... Oh, man. Are you serious? How many times can we make good interceptions to go back to... Look directly into his path, man. Directly. We had what two, two good tackles, and even there, we had two players, and Firmino somehow gets up. Nah, man, I'm not having this. I'm not having this. Terrible. Tovan come off. Let's bring on Everton, just because we need someone down this side. <laughs> Terrible. If we lose from that goal, not having that at all. Neymar come on for Martial. <laughs> oh, God. Scott McTominay off. Let's bring on Grealish. We need attacking options. We need a lot more attacking options. But I'm not having that at all. Seriously. Go direct as we can. I'm not having it. Serious. Terrible. Shouts. Dem demand more. But what's the odds we're just not going to see anything at all? Guys, they're not going to show a highlight. They're not going to show us have a chance because you want Liverpool to win. The Grealish picked up an injury. I mean, I think we are playing aggressively with our play style. Even higher line of engagement. A very much higher defensive line. Like, we're going extreme. Over the defense, distribute quickly, take long kicks... Just, we're going everything that's attacking. Shoot on sight, maybe. Be more expensive. We're going all these options. I'm almost doing it just to prove we are going this attacking. And they're not going to, you know, not going to show. Maybe we'll go wide. Switch things up. But we're still that very attacking style. What can we do? Put Neymar forward, even though he's not rated as well as a striker. That's interesting. Yeah, he just doesn't have a great rating there. And put Grealish. I'm pushing us all forward. <laughs> Again, it's almost to prove that. Uh, what are we going to do? We're not going to score. Just to prove that we were never destined. Never destined. Come on, show it. Show us, get something now. That would be lovely. But nah. If anything, they'll probably, they'll probably score. From error passes. Error passes. 
Can we say push forward as well? I feel like I'm doing what's in my control for this specific match. For this specific match. Just end the game <laughs> with no highlights. Come on. We've got here, so show us. Come on, lads. Do something with it. My God, it's a corner at least. Maybe a corner could get us something. And honestly, if we score a goal from a corner, Liverpool might... Oh, yes! Hoo-hoo! Mason Greenwood. He scores. And I was about to say, Liverpool might feel hard done. But imagine your situation. Imagine if you're Liverpool here. From your point of view, when you've had a lot more shots than us, you would think that's hard done, boy. Have I seen Glory Hunter by Dr. Benji? Nah, I haven't. Don't watch his stuff. Uh, but honestly, saying that, I don't watch a lot of FM series. Like, as a creator, I don't feel I have time to watch. But yeah, I wouldn't watch someone who's not following me on Twitter. <laughs> Who unfollowed me on Twitter. Uh, <laughs> not to get into that conversation. But yeah, nah, is the short answer. But could we get a winner here? I was going to say, do we settle for a draw? But, you know, we'll keep it the way. Maybe we'll get another. Nah. Does this mean it's going to be a corner? I hope we deal with it. I hope we deal with this here. No late goal. Just close it out. Close it out. And that's where it should end. I think 1-1 one, one is a fair result. 1-1 one, one is a fair result here. And we'll, we won't complain with 1-1. One, one. I said I would take a draw. Especially after being in a losing position. Like, come on. Look how good they are, mate. Kicking it straight out for a, goal, for a throw in. From that goal kick. Uh, Greenwood, can we get a late winner, maybe? Anything can happen. Oh, that's all right. We take that, though, guys. And I said, as a if you're like a Liverpool fan, you would be, like, during that game, you would be a bit, like, you know, felt hard done by and a bit disappointed because so many shots and then we got a late goal from a corner. That's something I would have been frustrated by. So you got to yeah, think about it. Well done. We prove people wrong by avoiding defeat. I said I'll take that. Just as long Liverpool not taking points off of us. Jack Grealish injured. So that's alright. I'm happy with that. He's looking at Pogba. Can you link a face pack? Well, the face pack I'm using, again, I've linked it a few times. Uh, by Sorted Out SI. Cut Out Faces, Mega Pack. Link that in the in the chats. Uh, Dan Davin, good day, footy. Hey, what's up? How you, how you doing? How you going? So we, I'm happy with that result, <laughs> considering we just we survived losing it. We almost got a loss, so we got a goal. We take that. Greenwood, ninetieth minute, and just on Greenwood, how how good has he been? And just as always, oh, determination is going down. Sure, that's a thing to happen. Any other notable results here? Uh, a lot of, you know, not top teams, but Man City v Everton up. Uh, Man City beat Everton 3-0. Uh, what In the first season, what was the position? We, we, we won. We won the league. We did manage to win the league in the first season. Champions. Man United champion, Premier League champions there. 
Uh, Liverpool scored more goals than us, but we kept more, more more clean sheets. We probably did, but we conceded less goals. We ended up on the same goal difference, funnily enough, but 98 points. And we won the Europa League as well. Yeah, wow, yeah. <laughs> champions. First season champions. And suddenly we got cut. Remember I said we had about like 80k in the wage budget? That just cut in, got cut into. I'm not sure what happened, but it's not a major issue right now, honestly. So yeah, we did have a good first season. We want to back it up here. We'd love to have some continued dominance. Just dominate the league each season. That would be... Who are you looking to sign in the transfer window? Heading into January, honestly, no one. <laughs> Next season is a different thing. Heading into January, like I said, we don't really have money. Just, yeah... We we don't have extra money. Like I'm I'm but I'm happy with the squad. We spent hard. We spent hard in the preseason and yeah, we set up a team to succeed this season, I reckon. Ooh, some important games. Very important games here. Guys, Tottenham have been a bit struggling. They're fourteenth. But they should beat Huddersfield at home. Neymar gets oh, it's the wage hike, I guess, for Neymar. Would have that cut into or that maybe that was just it. After his five games, that was part of offering his contract to make it happen. To get him what he wanted. Oh, guys, again, Tottenham. It's, it's a game of penalties, though. It's a draw. Okay, they're 12th. Hmm. It still depends. It's early in the season. Arsenal get the 1-0. Chelsea 3-0 as well. It's going to be a very close season at the top. So, I reckon for you guys, it could be pretty interesting. Should be interesting as a, a viewing point, I'd like to think. You're ahead of Sheffield Wednesday. Might as well work attacking movement. So, hey guys, we look at that. We received 425k, part of Lukaku's transfer deal. So, yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Some extra money. Some little bits. Bits and pieces. Joseph Martinez, how's he looking? Guys, is he pretty good for a player in the MLS? Like, is he one of the best players? He looks like he's just ripping apart that division. Well, judging off that, the answer is yes. Uh, if any of you guys from America, you, or, or you just watch the MLS, he looks like he rips it apart. <laughs> Let me know. Like, he looks like he's prem quality. He very well could be. What do you guys reckon on him? Could he move to a actually a top Premier League team? I'd say definitely Premier League. Any team. But he looks alright. As a striker, this can't be right, guys. He's rated... His current ability is better than Mason Greenwood. And you know how Mason Greenwood's been for us already. And work permit. What do you guys think about him? <laughs> like, uh, I'll get him on the short list. I mean, decent value. Get him pretty, pretty affordable. He, he seems all right. Seems like a very good player. Troy Parrott from Tottenham. Do we pressure? Do we pressure him? He's extremely interested in joining us. He looks like a very, very good talent. Declare a bit of interest for a transfer. But there's so many good players. You can't sign everyone. You can't sign everyone. But we'll say there's some interest from our side. Alrighty. Alright, 
Barco. Yeah, I've heard Barco is that Ezekiel Barco. Yeah, even though there's a few Barcos, but yeah, he's at Atalanta United as well. He moved there. Interesting. Interesting move, but I think that's a sign of the progression of the MLS. That it's not just a so-called retirement village. Some yeah, good talents are actually going there as well. I'd say there's some uh, lure of moving to America, which would be part of it as well. So, yeah, I wouldn't exactly say the retirement village. He's injured three to four months, though. But, yeah, Barco is good talent. Uh, this guy was another we scouted, but I kind of knew he wouldn't have that greatest potential, just of judging off his attributes initially. But yeah, guys, we uh, got the Carabao Cup against Sheffield Wednesday, who are in League One at the moment. We got Watford in four days, so keep that in mind. Uh, we just played against Liverpool, got a draw against them after, you know, we we're in a losing position. We got a late goal, so we take that. Grealish, come off. Mesbury, this is where... But guys... Chris Roberts, we are so excited for in the youth intake. He was our star best player. We got, actually got another striker, but Chris Roberts looks a bit better. Uh, Neymar costs 170 million. Big money. Big money, to be fair. See, this game could be where. Do we use it as one where Neymar gets his fitness back? Or no? We, we use what we want. Um, Gomez. Bring Gomez in for Martial. Why we promoted some of our players. Uh, Tillo even, maybe bring on for Lindelof, take Koulibaly out, <laughs> bring uh, Mike, Mike Smalling. We don't really have another centre-back though, because we sold Axel, so maybe just Mike. <laughs> Play him with a bit, I reckon he's a good one to learn from, uh, Tillo, uh, to learn from Mike Smalling, Chris Smalling. <laughs> but he's almost 20 million. The Retirement Village is the Chinese League, or the A-League here in Australia, I'll tell you what. It is. <laughs> it is. Yeah, for sure. So, Mesbury come in for Bruno Fernandes. I swear, he's coming along so nicely. Just nice and slowly, his development is looking really good. Yeah, he's definitely going to get a start. Everton, you know, he's been in the first team, but he hasn't started that much. He hasn't started... As many games. So we're playing him a little bit more. So we do make... Oh, no. Chris Roberts. Chris Roberts to start ahead of Green. He has to score here, guys. Look. Oh, his attribute. He looks so nice with his current attributes for 17. With that high potential. And, yeah, he's just looking so good. He's labelled the next Michael Owen. He's labelled the next Michael Owen in the save as well. Uh, I've never watched the Indian League. No. But I can only imagine... I can only imagine what it's like. Uh, name. Any of these other... Well, I mean... <laughs> we're treating Green Greenwood as like an experienced player. Maybe Pereira... Actually, Tenali. Tenali starting ahead of Pogba. Look, look at this complete switch up. Then McTominay out. Let's bring in Pereira. Look at the complete switch. Put him on a Mazala. Yep. So almost every player we're resting. Uh, Henderson. Henderson in goals, yeah? Yes, Arp. What's... I forgot his first name. Arp. Yeah. Or maybe because I've never said it properly. <laughs> I just wouldn't say his first name. Uh, Arp. But anyway, he's at... He's at... Oh, he's at... Bayern. Bayern. He looks pretty good. But guys, this is the age you sign a hot prospect. You might say, oh, he's a hot prospect. They don't want to sell. But right now, he's a fringe player. This is where you sign them. When they're 20, 21. When they're trying to break through the first team at a really good team. A top side, like Bayern. But they're still below in the pecking order. This is when you pounce. Hey, maybe we even declare some interest. This is when you sign them. Before they get good enough for that. So, yeah, just say there's some interest from our side. Uh, anyone else? Anyone else who's not really in the first team? <laughs> Funnily enough, Luke Shaw. We're using Sergio a little more. Uh, put him wing back. Oh, no, we'll leave it. We won't put him on defend. But let's go. Maybe drop one Bissaka for Delo. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm really ha How are you guys liking this team? 
how many of these guys are going to be the future? Let's see. Tilo, oh, I'm not sure. I don't think he has got that potential. Uh, don't forget, we signed him. It was for 4.5. We're after PSG. PSG must have thought he had some talent. Just a year before, signed him for 32.5 mil. So, like in real life. So, he, they must have thought he had some potential in him. But, yeah. So, in the future, Delo, definitely. He's got a little bit of potential. It makes you think, hmm, where, where's his potential going to be? Uh... Tanali, yes, Mejbri, Everton, Gomez, Roberts, so a lot of, oh, I'm so excited for Roberts, I'll tell you what, guys, i tell you what, Nathaniel Klein, absolutely no shame, number, two things, we signed him on a free, we signed him on a free and only 16k, only 16k on his wages, I thought that's a perfect backup, I'm not, so, it's not, it's not too much money we've been spending on him, I thought Premier League quality as backup, you know, I thought that was an okay deal <laughs> for me. It's always something mentioned, maybe for new someone new is coming across the stream. Nathaniel Klein, oh my god, why did you sign him? It was more so just the what are we gonna say? This one, I fully expect you to win. Really, I really like everyone on your team, other than Sm fair enough. But he comes in as the captain in Football Manager. Smalling is still very good. Like, his attributes, he's rated well. And when we've used him this season, he hasn't been bad. And in FM, as I said, he provides as an influence. He provides as a learning, a player to learn from, from for younger players. So, there is some positives of him. He, he's solid enough. He's solid enough. I can understand the reasons why people don't like Smallin. It's okay. But, it's a free kick here. And it's Andreas Pereira to take. Will he score? Oh, out of the top draw. <laughs> What's not to like about Smalling? That was out of the top draw, guys. Andreas Pereira. He's looking more on the outer this season. But what a perfect free kick. Take a drink to that. <laughs> what a goal, yeah. That was something. Now Andreas Pereira, good with the set pieces, Luke Shaw, we really want to see our young talents get involved. Now, here's Harris, oh, just let him get past you Gomez, how, how small the, guys, is Gomez that small? He looks like someone from the, the, tw the tw under 12s. Why does he look like someone from the under-12s competition? <laughs> oh, they got Domi Iorfa, yeah? F Arsenal, former Arsenal lad, yeah? No? I, no, I signed him for... Uh, guys, that's where I got Arsenal. I signed him for Arsenal uh, a few years ago. That's why I thought he was from Arsenal. <laughs> a couple years ago in FM, I signed him from Wolves. That's it. Uh, I remembered instantly. That's uh, yeah. That's where I got him from. I signed him for from Arsenal. For Arsenal, sorry. Uh, <laughs> that's where it's from. There we go. Guard against complacency, but we got a good lead. I want to see Chris Roberts score a goal. I want to see our young lad. Whew, he's going to be so good in the future, no doubt. We just want to see. We just want to see something now from him. For sure. Now, another free kick to be taken. Mesby! Oh, he goes so close! Ah, almost. Which Man United shirts do you have? I got a Man United shirt from last year. Which is not too different from this one. Well, this year's shirt, isn't it? But I'm not the I'm not someone to wear the kits a lot. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> Myself. <laughs> Just generally. Andreas Pereira. Oh, this is a penalty. See, can we can we change the taker? Guys. How's he rated for them? Do we give it to Chris Roberts? Or is it silly too? I mean Mesbri, or do we leave Mesbri, who's still a good young talent as well? 
Well, I'm not gonna live stream FIFA. I'm gonna probably wait till next year or like FIFA 21 because career mode is almost irrelevant. Career mode's irrelevant to stream. So, um, unless it's on YouTube, maybe because then more people on YouTube will watch. If it's on Twitch, I'll I want to start from the start. Start from the start. Yeah, doing ultimate team. Starting a new ultimate team now is pointless. People want to watch with their good teams and all that. Mesbury, do we just leave Mesbury because he's still good at penalties? I'm gonna leave him. I'm just, I'm gonna leave him. We'll leave him. Uh, and again, yeah, where's his hair? Yeah, <laughs> where's his Afro FM? Should step up and score. Oh, great penalty! Yes, great penalty. Happy with that. It's his first goal. I remember he scored last year in the FA... Early in the FA Cup. Was I trying to remember? Or was it Carabao Cup? Can't remember. But anyway. Uh, the skin I'm using, the mods... I suppose the mods, the, like the face packs and logos. Is that what you mean by mods? Uh, but yeah, in terms of the skin... I'll leave you a link for that one. Because then all the face packs and all of that I get from sortedoutsi.net. You can just search them and... I'll, I'll list the graphics. I'll list the face pack, but then you can go to different areas of their website. That's the face pack I use. And then you can get a lot more from their website. But alright, let's keep going. FM is more entertaining than FIFA. That's why I, I, you, you might buy it. Yeah, I feel you can get more out of Football Manager or you just you get more into it. You can play it longer than FIFA, I reckon. FIFA can just frustrate you after a while. <laughs> you can get frustrated at FM, but not in a way to stop playing it. It just makes you yeah want to fix things. Oh, but look at Everton go. No. Oh, Tenali. Uh, Heda Ali. Hey, how you doing? Nice to see you again in the chat. And see, really, almost every single one of these players wouldn't play the next game so to me not too like, not too crucial to rest them let's see well you signed someone who can win penalties who's that <laughs> Stanislas no, don't let him through oh Tillo yes well done now Everton he's dangerous with his pace he could run at them a bit harder but he holds off Oh, Tenali, oh, what a hit. See, regardless what team you're playing against, that was a wonderful volley. That would be a goal against any team, I reckon. I know we're playing in Sheffield Wednesday, but a hit like that, regardless, is sweet. To hit it like that, <laughs> it doesn't matter the opposition. Look at that. Top corner. No goalkeepers are going to save that. <laughs> Divemar, or <not> Neymar. <laughs> Uh, have you tried a journeyman save in FIFA? It's unbelievably bad. You get sacked randomly in the second season. I know journeyman in FIFA. I don't know. I've never really thought it to be like a really challenge. Like in Football Manager, yes, it's so much more. You know, I don't think career mode has the setup really for to do a joint journeyman save. Because the way I like to do a journeyman save is starting unemployed. To me. So, yeah, look who we have on the bench. Almost, see, Neymar needs first team. F first team football. And go I'd rather just bring him on for Everton here. How about we switch Gomez over to the other side? Because Gomez, it's just about playing him. So, rather put Neymar in his best position. Neymar, Neymar's just come back from his injury. You're finding FM20 easy. I won the Champions League five times. Who was that with? Who are you managing? Who are you managing for that success? Obviously, the next thing is to, you know, go for a more challenging save. Will be nice to see Henderson keep a clean sheet here. Yeah, Man United. Fair enough. Maybe try a journeyman. Maybe try a journeyman. Start unemployed. And th that's a challenge. That's a challenge. Now it's Gomez. Goes to Andreas Pereira. Tonali. Here we go, almost scoring. Uh, DC93 Gaming, yeah, thanks uh, Thanks for following as well, yeah. That's alright, mate, uh, for the raid. Uh, the save, 
the save is doing all right. Uh, in this one. You know, we're just going along. Uh, we had a draw against Liverpool. We're in a losing position and we got a 90-minute corner. We got a 90-minute corner. I was getting a bit frustrated. I'll be, I was going really, really attacking. And I was kind of saying, I'll be very frustrated if we don't get a goal here. But Liverpool had a lot more shots than us. You think about it in that way. When you're, when you're searching for that goal and you don't get it, you feel it's all against you. But when it's a game you haven't been as dominant and the opposition is the one that concedes that late goal, you're so happy, but if that was your situation, you'll be mad at FM. Conceding a goal in the 90th minute, you'll be raging. <laughs> so yeah, it's, it's interesting when it happens for you, when you get it. But when it happens against, against you, uh, you're so against the game. You're so frustrated. Uh, but there we go. But in this one here, in this one here, we are playing with a... Well, we're playing some of our younger players. One of our hot prospects. Oh, Cambridge save was infuriating. Can can imagine. Uh, we play key highlights here. But what was I? What was I going to say? Yeah, I just wanted to show the. Uh, well, we got. Yeah, we played some of our younger players. We signed Tenali, but yeah, Hannibal, young Hannibal. But Chris Roberts was our star. Star. I'll say signing, but youth intake player. Yeah, if you haven't seen him before, that's how he's looking in terms of his ratings. 17 years old, uh, 925k, pushing to a million. So, see the potential. He's a very unique, uh, unique striker uh, because he could be a false nine. He's got a 15 passing. Very, very good talent we have. Excited to see his future. Why not sign Holland? I mean, Holland is always suggested. Like, he's... <laughs> Uh, you know, to be a bit, uh, Mason Greenwood as well. We've got Mason Greenwood who's done... Yeah. Yeah, he's got a bag of potential. But yeah, Mason Greenwood. I feel like I didn't want to go for Haaland because we, we've got... Especially getting a good youth intake striker. And we we had another one. And I feel like he's just gone un, under the radar a little bit because of, uh, because of that guy we have. Pete Watts is not too bad. Pete, what he's not bad at all. He he was another we got in the youth intake, so he's he's solid. Obviously not to the level, not to the level of Roberts, but he, he's all right. He could develop into still a, like a first team striker. Yeah, naughty Greenwood is amazing. He killed it first season. He scored more goals than I expected. Then we brought in Tanali. You know, uh, you get him on his release clause, and it's a bargain. What eight? What nine point five million? Bargains there. He's up to 20.5 mil now. Holland overrated and Chris Roberts underrated. Well, I wouldn't say Chris Roberts is underrated. I mean, just... <laughs> he has got high potential, that's for sure. But yeah, Holland. I wouldn't even say overrated is the opinion for Holland. I think I actually said that. <laughs> but no, just because so many people sign him, I want to sign someone a bit more unique or our own youth, youth intake players. That's it. That's it, really. Uh, hold up. So we got Watford. Watford in three days. It's look at the league. Like after first ten, after the first ten game, guys. It's the, the first ten games. The league is looking pretty close. I like that. What's that? Poch to United is done. Is it? Do you guys reckon that's happening? What's the deal? What's the deal with it? Yeah, Troy Parrott, we just keep our tabs on him. You know he develops really well. But the same, it's the same case with Greenwood. He's good. <laughs> Is he going to 
We can only start one of them. We're playing one striker. Didn't matter what Oli done. He was a stopgap for another manager. Yeah, for sure. But honestly, I've held my opinion where really top managers, I reckon they don't want to work with the Glazers and Woodward. They can see the kind of shit show it is, to be honest. <laughs> like the really, really high reputation managers. They don't want a, a move in their career that may be, you know, a bad move. Like they see what happened with Jose Mourinho. Like we look at Jose Mourinho as a manager. He succeeded at the clubs he's been at. Where did he not succeed? At Man United. I'm not sure what you guys feel, but... <laughs> the actual owners of the club are hurting them in multiple aspects. And, yeah, just talking about Fergie as well. It was just a... It was such a time... It was such a time with Fergie, <laughs> Sir Alex at the helm. It's going to be hard to get back to that. Just that time. But, okay, eight teams left. Let's see who we get drawn in the Carabao Cup. I'm, I'm not hoping we'll get Rochdale. Maybe we could use a couple younger players again. Or QPR, Southampton get. Wolves, Leicester. I mean, there's every chance. Man City... Tottenham, oh, we do, and it's at home as well, guys. That rarely happens where you get the draw you want. <laughs> Rochdale, so that almost puts us for sure into the next round. And as I said, the opportunity to play a couple younger players again. Always, always love that. When's that going to be coming around? When's that going to be coming around? Well, that's a while away now. Yeah, we, we've got a few Champions League games before then. But I do like Pochettino as a manager. He's... So Burnley, Arsenal. Surely Arsenal get the better of him. No, well, it, it finished a draw. <laughs> How about that? How about that? Train look, guys, look. Do you notice whenever you bring out your younger guys in, they train better than your first majority of your first team players? Do you guys notice that and know why? We'll criticize Neymar's training. He's coming back from his injury, of course. <laughs> Big signing. Uh, 170 million, if you didn't know. But yeah, do you guys notice that? Your younger guys come in and they train so well. They're always at the top. Whatever reason that may be. Excited, yeah. I'm, I'm really excited to see how he develops. But yeah, it's it always seems the case. The younger guys just train so well. <laughs> It's rare to see him with a low training rating. But yeah, Watford up. Yeah, just another Prem match that we should we should win. And hope we do. Uh, what's that? I've got a really bad stomach cramp, so I'm trying to distract myself with your stream. Ah, uh, no, those are the worst, eh? Those are the worst. Uh, but Liverpool, guys, we managed to get a draw against Liverpool, but someone needs to beat them. <laughs> uh, someone needs to beat them. And we were lucky to get a draw. We got a late goal from a corner. So, yeah. Okay, now revert. Revert to our better selection. We'll probably just do a quick pick and then it's going to get a mostly of our general selection. But we start green. We start green. We're headed to Rashford. How about that? The Neymar's back. Hmm. It's what uh, I uh, it, It's tough. M start Martial. Martial's had a really good season. 
really that uh, Torvan, he doesn't, he doesn't get chosen. Why? Inverted winger attack. So when's our next, okay, we got a couple you know, games. So let's put Roberts, those younger guys back to where they came from. <laughs> back to where they came from. Well, yeah, Roberts and Mesbury back into the under 18s. Move to the under 18 squad. And that's all. Tenali still gets selected there. I like McTominay though. Just switch this up a little bit. Ball winning mid and then Pogba. Yeah, advanced playmaker. So there's Pereira there. Jack Grealish probably makes the bench. Just got a lot of options. A lot of options here. Teco Gomez. Everton makes the bench. Tonali, yeah. Delo can cover right back and left back. Koulibaly, who's on a yellow. How about if we take off Lindelof and bring my... A, a Smalling, I don't know. He's done well. i got to be honest. He's done all right this season. And, yeah, we'll go in with this selection. Yep. Yeah, happy with that. Happy with the team. i got to get food. I'll look. For a while. That's alright. No worries. Oh, guys. Watford playing five at the back. As I say, you know what happens when you play against teams at five at the back. I'm pretty sure we've won every single time with a team five at the back. And, well, as we say that, we might get an early goal. Is it already a penalty? Two minutes in, lads. Lads, two minutes in, and we could be scoring a goal. <laughs> Tony Martial to step up. To step up from the spot. Tony Martial scores. He does. Get in. That's what we like. Alright. Alright. Good goal, man. Good goal. Now Sergio with the throw in. Oh, uh, guys, look. Alexis Sanchez scores. <laughs> Top left. Top left. Tony Martial almost scores again. Went close. So, fairly in control of possession. I mean, look at that. Very strongly. Juan Bissaka, Bruno Fernandes. Okay, Juan Bissaka. No, waste that. So, yeah, we're just controlling this one. In a bit of control for this game. Would like to see a second. Could we get it here at the end of the half? Whew, we went close. Really went close. Yeah, we play on the key highlights. We play on the key. Just so we press through, uh, progress through the games quicker. So you don't get complacent out there. Uh, will be a 3-0 win, you reckon? Let's see if we push on in the second half. Maybe bring Neymar on again, get some fitness, but is the corner Bruno Fernandes. Oh, almost. Almost. Uh, amazing Tile, thanks for the follow. Oh, look at him go, though. That was nice. Oh, now Pogba. Oh, yes, he does score. I was about to say, guys, if Pogba missed that, I was going to be triggering the talk of selling him again. There's interest. And I suppose if he's performing well. Team, but I feel he's just gone... He, he He's just been in the team. He, ha he hasn't done poorly. He hasn't been a poor player. But he's just gone along. He's been okay this season. He hasn't done anything special. Like, if we go into the stats... Yeah, guys, like, look in the Premier League. Seven starts. His average rating is still 7.7. .7, so, a bit under the radar. But, yeah, he's not at his complete best. But he's still doing a good job. He's playing that good central midfield role, I guess. Where, you know, central midfielders, they don't bang in a lot of goals. And could be, like, real life. You shouldn't be judging him off his 
his goal tally. Saying that, we take him off here, bring on Sandro Tonali, more a defensive role, deep line playmaker. <laughs> so we've got two on the defend duties. But I mean, we're in a position to hold on to the result now. Uh, we can't be uh, too unhappy with that. And most of that, let's bring on Delo. Delo for Wan Bissaka. He's got the lowest condition at the moment, 80%. What are the packs you use for FM20? Uh, do I still have that last copy paste? Yeah, well, that's my faces. That's my face pack I just linked there. And I get a lot from Sorted Out, so I get the logos off them as well. They have a lot. Sell him and buy the legend, Kimmich. Nah. <laughs> Kimmich is good, though. No arguments. No arguments there. Uh, Football Man 03. Yeah, Football Mad. Cheers for the follow. Thank you very much. Uh, how about... Yeah, no, I just think Neymar. No, just for to get that match fitness back after his injury. Get him some more game time. Uh, we're going on to win this now, that's for sure. With 2-0. What is your strategy when you manage a team with barely any transfer budget? <laughs> uh, it's tough. Uh, Martin... Uh, Malsita? Malsita? Sorry if I got that name wrong. <laughs> Thanks for following. Thanks for following. What is your strategy? Yeah. Ooh, it's tough. You gotta. It depends at what is your actual budget, but I go. I look at free transfer. You have to look at free. You have to look at free transfers, really. Maybe depending if you've got a little bit of budget to play with, maybe like transfer listed players. But that's why, as I said, it depends his whole amount of money. Uh, but by avoiding defeat, Man United are now unbeaten in fourteen matches. So we're on some unbeaten streak. So it was a late save against Liverpool, wasn't it? That would keep that going. But yeah, you got to go big. You got to go big with free transfers, really. Maybe look to sell someone if he like who's on your highest wages. If you've got some players on really high wages, keep that in mind as well. Guys, Brighton beat Tottenham. Tottenham are really, really struggling. They're going through it. Well, Pochettino is still the manager in this save. How about that? Oh, guys, look at the requests. They didn't even need relegation. Leicester City got relegated. They didn't get requests for players. Guys, Son. Son is transfer requested. He's requested to leave. Has a preference to play in the Premier League. He wants to stay in the Prem. Guys, Son and Lamella. What do you guys reckon about Lamella? He's rated all right, but... Oh, anyone else who's requested to leave? No. What do you think about Sonny? Scout player. Sonaldo. Not Lamella, yeah, fair enough. What you reckon? Sonaldo. He's a great... How is his rating as a striker? Mm -hmm. You know, you could train him, get that up a little bit in terms of his roles. But we have enough left wingers, <laughs> guys. We have enough left wingers. See, he's the same age as Neymar, so Neymar is better. To be fair, it's just the fact of yeah, Son, like his name, like getting. We probably don't need him unless we sell like Pogba or Rashford. No, no, sorry, not Pogba. Pogba came up there, Martial or Rashford. So yeah, probably not. It's just the fact that he's come up. But do we try and still push <laughs> Pogba out? I, don't, they, I mean, I say push him out. Barcelona, PSG, Tottenham, they're interested. Make an offer if you want him. I can't change him off the transfer list. He wants to leave. Keep an eye on Chiesa. Well, m yeah, maybe. So I'd be more interested in a right winger, even though we signed Everton. We'll think about it. Get him on the short list. Any other Tottenham players... Any other players that could be... Well, Troy Parrott, but he's more a younger player, so he's probably less concerned how they're performing. So, yeah, he's, he's pretty happy. Anyone... Dali Ali? What do you guys reckon about Dali? Maybe get him on the short list. Reports. His value is incredibly... Is his value, like his estimated cost, a bit too much, you reckon? Yeah. How about like a Harry Winks? No, English lad. We'll get reports on him. 
We'll see. Sessignon. Sessignon. Right now we're just looking looking at uh, Sanchez. Maybe not a bad center. We're just scouting all these Tottenham players right now. There's a lot of them. Uh, and Dombele. He, ooh, he's got a mix of attributes. Got quite a few. Uh, how about oh, Oliver Skip? Maybe uh, hey, defensive mid. They got a few. They got a few players. A few there. Eric Dyer. Hmm. A lot of play. Uh, we don't want to. It's not. It's not going to be too instant anyway. And guys, Southampton beat Man City. That's good. That's good. So we can stay ahead of them. That was needed. Really needed. But yeah, Tottenham. They've lost five games out of 11. That's shocking. That's shocking for Spurs. Really. But yeah, because of our budget right now, we spent it all, really. As you can see, it's minimal. So we're not really looking for signings at this point. Definitely not. Definitely not looking for transfers. It's more so... Well, you don't know. If we sell Pogba, if we sell Pogba, that changes the game completely. Uh, annual fee uh, paid to the Red Diamonds. Don't forget we have that agreement there for the... Yeah, just to show you guys, if you go to the affiliates. Yeah, we've got them there for merchandising in Japan, which is pretty decent. But we've got Champions League. We've got Champions League game coming up, lads. So we head into the training calendar here. Let's work on our defensive shape, actually, for this one. We've done attacking movement recently, the last couple games. Have that balanced. Kane as a top... Ha ha well, guys, <laughs> what about Harry Kane? He he'll still probably cost really a lot. He's an amazing striker, though. What? <laughs> his only slight interest. But what what is his current happiness level? He's disappointed to be injured. Hmm. He like, wants to win a trophy and is excited at the team's chance in the Europa League. Whew. Europa League side. Get him on the shortlist. Do we put up a bit of a, a transfer transfer interest for transferring Harry Kane? They're doing poorly at the moment. Uh, mentoring month in review. What's this? Guys, don't you love it? That's one of the best things. I tell you what, I tell you what, yes. When a player learns a new trait, surprisingly, without, without teaching it, without trying to teach them, look at this. Sergio, left back. He's come along really nicely. He's been amazing in his games. Gets forward whenever possible. This increases the frequency with which a player makes forward runs. I felt like he's done that default. He just suddenly developed it. Guys, if you know, let me know how players develop it just generally. Is it because how your team is maybe playing with your tactics? Uh, but heavy, dirty soul. Hey, mate, what's going on? I'm really good. I'm really good. How about yourself? How, uh, what? Imagine De Bruyne to replace Pogba. No, unrealistic, to be fair. But yeah, oh, that's one of the best surprises because you don't expect it. <laughs> you just randomly, randomly gets that. Uh, James Garner, though. Another decent year out on loan. Not sure about his future, though. <laughs> what about signing the best player in the world? A whole entire world. Your country's saviour, Lord Bettner. Where is he at? I haven't heard anything about him. Where is he? Okay, Copenhagen. There he is. I, I loved him at Arsenal. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a throwback. It feels so long since he was at Arsenal. He, honestly, guys, his first year against, Ro against, his first year for Rosenborg was really good. 19 goals. He was living, uh, surely the fans would have loved him. But then he kind of, f he fell back into his trap. He fell back into his trap. He didn't score as much. And then he was on the outer the following season. Uh, and yeah, then they let him go. <laughs> as he's probably got a bit older now. Yeah, 32. Past his best. Now uh, we seek a cane deal. There's definitely some interest from our side, we'll say that.
But let's continue. Yeah, we got Gal Galatasaray up. They got a couple players unregistered there. I don't know how good they are. They're probably not as much in the first teams. <laughs> it's not such a notable thing. I mean, this guy's worth a million. He's a bit poor physically. Uh, who do they have as an injury? Martin. He's right back. But let's continue. Any interesting ones here? Maybe West Ham if they beat Chelsea. Uh, Leeds United struggling. Uh, good old Leeds. Chelsea, I mean, draw against West Ham. Does that give us a bit of breathing space now in the league? Well, not as much. But it's still a case where if they won, they would overtake us. So, you know. It's still tight. How's the coaching staff looking? How's our coaching team? Well, remember we signed Callum Cadamol. He's ahead of youth development. Great judging ability and potential. It was only the working with youngsters that's low. Then, but the, the mentals, technicals, everything else, yeah, he looks great. And then, of course, Klug, he's more assistant manager who he brought in. C great attributes. But then uh, we brought in Van Nistelrooy, if you didn't uh, remember that. He's pretty good mentals, actually. Uh, and then Lehman, we brought in Lehman as a coach. He didn't want to be a goalkeeping coach, but we brought him in as a coach to train on the goalkeeper coaching, which we are doing, just so you know. Have you scattered up? Yeah, we did before. And Ricardo Carvalho, who brought in as a coach as well, his mentals and defending are pretty strong. So those are those different ones, the extras we brought in. You like you rate that team? Brought in some names, yeah. Yeah, up, okay, what's his report? Yeah, we're still waiting on his report, but if you want to see what's his stats like, like his attributes, he's good. You can tell off his attributes. But guys, the fact that he is a fringe player right now, if a to another top team, what, Champions League winners? What's the question about that? <laughs> That's our goal this season? To win the Champions League? Oh, you're, yeah, you're asking it. You think it could happen? Yeah, oh, I want to... That's our next thing. We won the league last season. Next thing is to go on to win the champ. That's the next really big thing. Obviously, I was really... See... Winning the Premier League, you don't have the same celebration unless it's on like the final day or something. But Champions League, it's in the moment. Champions League, like the final, that's right in the moment. Uh, Football Mad 3 thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Appreciate it. Shout out. Massive mention. Massive mention to you. Uh, I am working on to getting some more emotes. Emotes for the chat. But right now, if anything bad happens, uh, yeah, you can use the RIP. <laughs> you can use the RIP. But yeah, I'm working on it. If you have any suggestions, what you think will be cool emotes for my chat, let me know. I thought some general ones like goal celebrations or something like that, like goal and that, you know, the straightforward ones. But if you have any suggestions, hit me up. And I was thinking as I, you know, progress more, goal conceded, yeah, I wonder what it would say for that. I thought RIP could just cover that, like when anything bad happens. <laughs> but yeah, I thought after a while, as I continue streaming for a bit, build up my subscribers, I thought maybe I could do drafts, drafts against my subscribers. What do you guys think about that? You think that would be cool? Because right now, I've got a few, and so they're not always in the chat, everyone who subscribes. So, yeah, as we build up, <laughs> Mike Smalling emote. Yeah, what do you reckon about that? I could do some... I could do some drafts against my subscribers. I could do them generally against my viewers. But then, yeah, <laughs> kind of priority towards the subscribers. Maybe play against them more times or something. Something... Get, so, get that involved. 
get that involved. And I've always said I want to get the interaction on the stream as much as I can. So, yeah, could give your guys ideas. Uh, you, yeah, your guys ideas for that. Uh, Lindley Hunter, what's the story behind the Mike Smalling joke? Van Hal. Louis Van Hal called him Mike. Call him Mike. <laughs> Should Harry Kane be signed? 75% say yes. How about that? Uh, oh, guys, Bournemouth are having a bad season. Bournemouth have a couple decent players, right? I mean, Cal Wilson, Callum Wilson. Uh, who's this region they have? Guys! Fuck off! Fuck off! That's a good, that's a good reaction. That's, a, I'm like, fuck off. He's 7.25 million at 16. Oh, that's because they signed him. Oh, okay. Maybe it's because of the fee. I was going to say, at 16, look at his value. Man. That's mad. That's a mad value. Wow. I'm disappointed we didn't notice him. 16, look at his attributes. But I mean, still, we could, we could, in, we could interest him. We could interest him, especially if they get relegated. Uh, Callum Wilson. But how's his overall... He's, I mean, really good finish and pacey. Even though he's older, he's rated similar. He'd be a similar player to Greenwood, really. Is anyone else? Anyone else from Bournemouth? Okay, we can't click on all players for whatever reason. Look at the injuries they've got. So that's understandable why they may be doing poorly. Fair enough. Let's sort by the value. Maybe anyone who's a bit on the younger... How's that fortune... Ooh, another pacey young striker. What do you guys think about Yasin? Again, pace and good finishing. Simple. Uh, Evan, hey, nice to see you in the chat. How you how you doing? What's going on? Jefferson Lerma, who's the highest valued, is pretty well rated. Josh King. Where's Josh King at? Again, and they've got they've got similar strikers, but I feel like he's not that quality. He's just a bit lower. I like him in real life, though. I think he's a good player. Uh, how about Philip Billing? Philip Billing, he's got good long throws. That's his only really good technical. Don't let that <laughs> uh, kind of be your decision. So, oh, he looks good, but then realize. That's one of his highest attributes for long throws. And they lose against Aston Villa, guys. They're really... They're going through it at the moment. Bournemouth are going through the struggles. But they've got a lot of injuries, like we just saw. We saw their team. <laughs> Look at the reserves. Harry Maguire. Why is... Is he playing up front? <laughs> Did they play him as a striker? It looks like that off the selection. Uh, it's a... <laughs> well, Did they play... No, 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 nah, see, yeah, that Amaran, he looks like he's playing right back. It's just mixed with that selection. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, that looks funny. He's Danish, yeah. Uh, who's that? C Calvin Phillips at Leeds? I'll leave that. Wait, isn't it with the A? Calvin? Calvin A, I thought I knew that. Calvin Phillips. 26 million. He looks like a pretty good player, hey? At 24. I'm, I suppose I'm assuming that with a little... Hoping he would grow a little bit more, but then realizing 24. But then, yeah, he's... What do you think about him? I could see him playing in the Premier League in the future. A Premier League quality player. What do you think... About his quality. When I pose that question a bit, yeah, in real life as well, not just FM. Just going forward the next few years. Can we just continue this <laughs> without issues? Inbox. Yeah, Barco. Okay, he hasn't got the high potential by the looks of things. Yeah, so there's up. Uh, what, four star? Four star. Decent. 
He's interested in joining. I already... I declared my interest, did I? Uh, he has a preference to play for Bayern Munich. I mean, you already are, mate. So what what do you reckon is the progression with him? Do we really need another striker? That's the question. But yeah. Good potential. He'd, he'd want to join, but Bayern don't want to sell. So there's that conversation. Yeah, we, were, yeah, we did declare the interest because we can't select that. Was that Valverde... Uh, Real Madrid. Is it this guy who might be on loan? Yeah, that was the guess. Yeah, Federico Valverde. Because I think I heard of his name before somewhere. <laughs> he looks pretty good. Strong, balanced attributes. Love those kind of players. <laughs> Take over existing loan deal. Probably don't need that. John Tarr. You know, he's a four-star player. How's this guy? Mm, little bit of potential, but nothing too much. Right. Arsenal lose in the Champions League. Inter beat Dortmund. Oh, guys, how are Dortmund doing? Guys, just have a little guess in your mind for a second because if you remember in another stream when I checked them out, they were like 17th or something. They were low in the league. They've progressed a little bit, but not that much. You would expect them to be doing better than 13th. Guys, they've only won two games. They probably won't get relegated, but wow, isn't that bad for Dortmund? Uh, Brinker? Uh, but Schmuller? Schmuller, is that right? Thanks for following, mate. But they're, do they're doing pretty poorly, honestly. Any of their players thinking about leaving? Uh, Mahmoud? He's not bad rated, but nah, wouldn't be a signing for us. Yeah, what happened to them? Why are they doing so badly? That is the question. I mean, it really does uh, put up the question for Jaden Sancho. Just keep declaring the interest on him, you know. He's natural both wings. Very good player. And of course, being English as well. It's kind of scary seeing 15-year-olds on FM when I'm older than that now. Well, for me, do you know what it is? I find it weird seeing... Okay. Where are... Where's the youngest age of a player? Well, even at 20 years old, Jaden Sancho. Players that are 20 years old and born in the year 2000. That makes me feel old, guys. That makes me feel old. <laughs> There's players born in the year 2000 that are professional footballers now. I'll just say there's some interest from our side. But yeah, we've got Galatasaray. Now, let's head into the selection, boys. Got a lot of players here. Uh, Gomez, another one. Maybe drop Gomez back to the under-23s. Yeah. Right. See, our first team is rated pretty well. See, guys, I'm almost just doing this for how it looks. To have, all, apart from the keeper, because De Gea doesn't have much to do, really, every single player's got an average rating over seven. We want to start the team like that. And we could say the same. You see, guys, the, the people will say, why are you playing Smalling? Mike, <laughs> why are you playing him? He's got a better average... He's got a better rating. He's got a better rating than Koulibaly, who he spent big money on. It's funny when that's the case, hey? But we're going to... We say that and we take him out. Um, Lindelof and Koulibaly. We play those two together. It's funny. I just want to play him for this reason like this. So <laughs> we're starting all the outfield players with... They have over a seven rating. So how about that? We're going to go... We're going to go in like this. Luke, it's funny, Luke Shaw being a bit on the outer. You know, Sergio, he already developed that trait. Uh, was gets forward whenever possible without trying to learn it. He just gradually, somehow, out of nowhere. Oh, we're going to have to change Tenali's role, though. So we make a change. 
Look who they've got, guys. Falcao, Babel, <laughs> some names there. But yeah, we'll go through the tactics for a second, guys. Just to switch up to Nali's role. Yeah, deep line playmaker. Still defend, though. Then go back to the team talk. And we'll say passionately. Come on, lads. Oh. Nah. Yeah, just do it. The pundits. <laughs> it's the motivating reactions. So I keep going with it, guys. I keep going with it. And just so you know, guys, this will be the last game of the stream, kind of like yesterday, about an hour on the, uh, hour and a half, a hour, hour and a half stream. Uh, I'm actually going out to the movies today. So, yeah, got to get ready for that shower and all that good stuff as we kick off things really nicely. Really nicely. Torvan, look at him go, guys. Perfect wing play, really. And then Martial bangs in another goal. Guys, that was a throwback. They have a player named Mike Hon. Didn't he, like, a guy played for Inter? There was someone from Inter, Mike Hon. I remember him. He was really good. Yeah, the right back. I was going to say, yeah, he looked, had a similar look to him with the... With the shaved, the shaved hair. I re yeah, he was a beast. Do you ever miss like certain footballers, like just miss watching them play? That just they're retired now, and yeah, like there's some of those players you just loved how they went about it. Oh, but look at this, Tovan. Oh, I should have passed it across. Should pass that across there. Is there any? Let me know any players you miss watching, that's retired now. He was probably one of the best right backs until Gareth Bale ruined him. Oh, yeah, remember that. And Gareth Bale was flying. Oh, yeah, Kaká. Kaká, he was he was lovely. Kaká, Ronaldinho. Yeah, I love Ronaldinho. Growing up watching yeah, football, I I loved Ronaldinho. He was so <laughs> he was so cool as a footballer and technical. David Beckham Ronaldo at United, Chris, seeing Cristiano at Ronaldo, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo at United. Oh, Greenwood. I liked. I had moments I really liked Louis Sahar as well. Man United. Then we're talking about certain Man United players. Paul Scholes. Yeah. Oh, he's sent off. <laughs> Look at those changes. Damn. This sets it up. Oh, it, oh, it's gonna go in. It's going to be a goal for Aaron Wambasaka. Aaron Wambasaka. Oh, Rooney. Can't forget Rooney as well. Yeah, man. Wayne Rooney at his absolute best. He was, in his time, best striker in the Premier League. Like, <laughs> try not to be biased, but... Loved Wayne so much, man. He was great. Nemanja Vidic, Nemanja Vidic as well, one of my favourite centre-backs, with Rio Ferdinand, what a partnership was that, the Ferdinand-Vidic partnership, <laughs> Man United fans, like, that's something, wouldn't we love that back, Vidic and Ferdinand and with Van der Sar in goals, uh, De Gea is great, but just the, the memories of that, you know, has any ha, hey mate has anyone ever told you that you look like Kevin Hart in a weird way? How do I <laughs> a light skin Kevin Hart? <laughs> Sorry, that made me laugh. I love Kevin Hart though. How about that? We we're killing this game. I know that for sure. We yeah we're smashing him. Who knows how this could end? Oh, Mason Greenwood, another goal. And yeah, we really, really are smashing him. How 
How about that? Pogba, he gets the assist for that, Mason Greenwood. Uh, what's that? Maldini, Cannavaro. See, that's what I mean. Look at all these football... Look at all these past players we're mentioning. All great players. Loved watching. Phew. Maldini... Yeah, but Maldini, Cannavaro, that was a partnership as well. Uh, we bought Neymar for $170 million. Oh, Torvar! For Florian Torvar there. Flying. And it feels good to see United back in the Champions League and dominating as well. Look at this. Look at this. Sergio. Reguillon. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. <laughs> so I've been calling him Sergio forever. Here he is. He's not. He's been not bad for a free signing, yeah? His contract runs out in the first season if you want to yeah, try and sign him. He's very, very good. Oh, Martial! What? Oh, my God! 5-0, 40 minutes in, lads. We had over 200 million, and we, like, we had players leaving, so wage budget got up as well. Look at this touch by Martial. Oh, that's filthy! That's filthy by Tony Martial. Wow. And then Bruno Fernandes comes up and scores as well. He's killing it. Do you have any personal instructions? Well, not for him specifically. If we go into the tactics. Can we see it from here? Like the player instructions? Yeah, click on the player instructions. Uh, yeah. The, these are the wing instructions. If you want to know. Cut inside with the ball. Obviously, that's kind of inside forward. And we changed the roles a little bit as well. So the instructions, some instructions come with the player roles. But anyway, team talk. The Ronaldo choppy <laughs> he hit. The, Martial hit the Ronaldo chop. I, 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 you don't see that too regularly, honestly, <laughs> in FM. He hit that, though. Look at our ratings, mate. Killing it. Killing it. We probably should make some changes. Though Bruno Fernandes, he's been... You could say leave him on for a hat-trick. But let's bring on Jack Grealish. Maybe for Pogba then. Yeah, we'll make that change. Juan Bissaka being great. Just keep his fitness up. And we'll just make two subs. Don't want any risks of getting an injury. Uh, let's just keep it up. No real need for a change. Bruno Fernandes. He's going to put it in though. Fall to Tovar. Maybe get back to him. Nah, too slow, man. Let's see if we build something up. De Gea. Goes out wide to Tovar. Koulibaly. This is nice, though. Martial. Martial. Wasted. Optimistic. Optimistic, that's for sure. The commentary in-game... Correct. Falcao is off. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah, Bruno. Yeah, now. I reckon now we take him off. Let's bring on Neymar. We were training him at some point on the Shadow Striker. Wait, are we still doing that? Yeah, we actually are, funnily enough. Even though we're playing him wide. We're trying to develop that up. Let's see. Let's see if it does anything. Because I remember early games when we played him there, he just ran hard at the defense through the middle. Which was lovely to see. Oh, Martial, could he do it again? What will he do this time? No, go short instead to Grealish. To Tenali. Ah, oh, good play, though. Oh, Delo almost smashed it against Muslera there. Muslera's been a decent keeper, you know. Always thought he was alright. There's Sergio again. Lindelof. We gonna still get something else here? No, they're just gonna clear that. Football players are so much better now than 10 years ago. Hmm, it's hard to say, yeah? Or what, uh, Vidic and Rio would be average in the Premier League. It, it's tough saying that. 
it's tough to say that, you know, but it would, because times change, that's for sure. Neymar! Almost, like, go on! Oh, we're almost getting it, man. Almost getting it. But, guys, is that pure dominance or what? Pure dominance or what? 33 shots, 21 on target. They had zero. Not even off target. No shots whatsoever. So, with this attacking formation, guys, we're still very strong defensively. And it's not just because we're a better team here. Uh, we, we had the least goals conceded in the Premier League last season. Torres said he loved to play against Vidic. Hmm. Any other results here? Man City can't beat Bruges. Arsenal lose against Benfica. Oh, what else? Liverpool just beat Atletico Madrid there. Monaco. You know this was going to be a hard group. Group D. I want to see how Group D is actually faring now. Liverpool is top after four. Atletico. Ooh, guys. It'll be crazy. Atletico don't even make it. How about if Frankfurt... Imagine if Frankfurt make it into the knockouts and Madrid and Monaco don't. That's going to be really interesting. Monaco is basically, yeah, they're gone now. They're not going to be in any European competition in the knockouts. Well, then everyone wants this save. That's why I'm streaming it, <laughs> I guess, if everyone wants it. But, yeah. So, how long have we been live now, guys? Uh, yeah, about that 1 hour 30 again. So, I'm going to leave it here, guys. As I said, I've got a bit to do this morning. Well, I'm going out. Uh, so, just like yesterday. So, I hope you guys enjoyed, again, a, a shorter stream. So, we're just going to save this right there and finish up the stream. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy.